Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at connecting the glycol pump directly to the motor. If your pump key, which is inside this little housing right here, if your pump key has failed and you're waiting on a new part, this is an easy way to temporarily get your system back up and running until your pump key shows up. A telltale sign that your pump key has failed or is worn down is that you can hear the motor running, but and your glycol chiller is on, showing that it's nice and cold in there, but your beers are coming out warm and foamy. If you haven't already seen it, there's an existing video on how to change the pump key. We're gonna go through that same process and also show how to bypass that pump key temporarily to get your system going. Although I don't recommend keeping it that way, and that pump key is a nice fail safe between the two components here. So before you do any work, you can leave your glycol chiller on. If there's two separate buttons, you want to turn the pump switch off, I think on your Micromatic silver glycol chiller, there's only one switch for that uh, on your UBC, which is the black chiller, which is more of the models kind of looking here. Uh, there should be a green and a red switch. I believe the green switch is your pump, so you can turn that off first. Once everything's turned off, we can remove the housing here, this little coupler, and take a look at the pump key inside. So all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You can see that we've got two bolts right here that need to be removed. So here is your pump key. This is what could be worn down if pieces could be broken off. And this is originally what you're gonna to wanna to replace. So if we're gonna bypass this, you can see that this has two holes on the edge here in the slot in the center. So this is the spot that goes onto the motor itself, fits in there. As you can tell, this has a male end. It'll fit right in there. But we're not gonna have this part because it's broken. Let's say we've assessed that already. So we wanna get our system circulating. All you're gonna do is connect this into that. And we're gonna reattach it using these. So how this works, you can see this, this little bearing in this part here, this is being twisted by the motor. Let's see how that works there. The reason we have this pump key is that if for any reason this were to get excess moisture in there and rust and seize up, or even worse, something could happen with the motor, that could cause a downstream issue of really torquing everything out and making, you have to end up replacing both parts, and it can be a bit of a chore replacing this with all the hosing attached to it. So this pump key acts, acts as a nice fail safe. Uh, help keep everything working okay. And if, say, the motor seized up for whatever reason didn't work, eventually all you would have is just that kind of doing its thing and it wouldn't damage the pump at all. All right, so we're just gonna connect these two directly here. We've got our slot there, our male end here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on there. And just easily fits in there as I bobble it. And just make sure that this housing is over the edge and kind of clamp down on it. Make sure you feel that work. And just make sure this is nice and tight. slide around at all, and then you should be good to go.